Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Material UI Chips. This is that little gray bubble component you see in the table. It's cool for implementing little status labels or whatever else to help your statuses or category type content stand out a little bit. As you can see, these are all gray, which is the default chip component, but we're going to go and implement our own custom color chips over that for our respective task statuses, which are, for example, completed, in progress, and not started. If you've ever used an app like Trello or Asana, this is what we're going for here. Additionally, we're going to implement a little dropdown in the task dialog to allow the user to select the status from a dropdown and save that on the task. You may notice this app template has changed a bit from my last update. I'm now focusing on building out a task tracker application in here, which has a lot of great opportunities to talk about material UI and building apps in general. This will be part of a bigger project that I'll launch in the future. So you could download a free version of this template on my website, which you can find below, or just by searching Material UI Templates on Google and finding React School. Please subscribe if you enjoy this content. And now let's get started. So I first go to the Material UI documentation for chips. I don't need much of this, so I just find a basic example. I stop to play with the chip playground just to see if any of the other parameters are interesting for this case. Next I go and create a new file which I'm just going to call the status chip. This component's purpose is to dynamically render a chip based on the current task's status. I don't want it to be more complicated than that. We can add the additional code for interactivity and the drop down to the task dialog itself. So just keeping this component simple. I import this component and replace the existing chip with my new component and confirm everything still works. I open up the Chrome inspector to see what CSS I need to change to set the background color. I observe that simply setting the background color on the root chip component will be sufficient. Next, I check the Material UI color palette to find the colors for the statuses I want. I'm mostly just looking at the shades here to see that I want the 300 value of the color. I next test that I can set the inline style of the chip with the style prop like so. I also see that I want to set the text color white as well. I import the rest of the colors and create a switch statement to determine which color I should show for each status. I stop and realize my prettier isn't working on this project, so I set that up again to get the formatting working properly. I can confirm now that my new method works. I also add a new blocked status here so that there is a red color as well. Just makes the status feature a bit more interesting. Now I update my task dialog to have the task ID that I want to render. I haven't set this up yet, so it was displaying some blank dummy values. The values were actually set from another dialog in my app, so I have to wire up uh, the new set of attributes for these tasks. I import my Redux selector for the tasks and use that to get the task data. I originally wanted to make a selector for each task individually, but I forgot how to pass in arguments to a selector and realized it would be easier to just find the task inside the dialog after getting all the tasks. I already had a selector to get all the tasks, so this was the easy way to go. So I find the task in my dialog and confirm that I'm seeing the correct data for that task. I am using the name attribute for a lot of the dummy inputs, so that is why you're seeing it appearing in a few spots here. I finish wiring up the task attributes and you can now see the status correctly appearing as a text input. But I want it to be a drop down and include the new select chip component. So now I will implement that. This will allow users to pick different statuses from the drop down. I remove the input and use the status chip I created earlier. But as you can see, there is no label above it and there's not a lot of padding between the above input. I play around with some form label styling until I'm happy with a label that looks nice. 
I'm using some inline styles here again, just because I'm not sure these are the components I'm going with yet. So I'm happy with how this looks for now, but there's no interactivity. So it's now time to implement a select component to pick the different statuses. I browse the material UI website and it takes me a bit to find an example of a select that has a custom menu item in the dropdown. I want to render the chips inside the dropdown menu, which is different from a regular dropdown. As you can see from the documentation here, you could put anything you want inside the select within a menu item. So I decide to copy this example and run with it. After pasting my status chip in the menu item and updating all the attributes, I am surprised how good it looks on the first try. How great does that look? Finally, I need to set up the change handler, so I simply use the React hook I created earlier for the status state and forget that I need to use target.value in the change handler, which is a common mistake. The change handler works and I'm happy with this and can resume implementing my dialogue features. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment below with the features that you want to see implemented next. Subscribe for more updates and I will see you next time.